Hello guys, uh, it's Noel here again. Uh, so um, I just want to, um, I'm just going to show you a very quick tip on Revit. Uh, in the office which I'm working on now, um, I have a lot of guys um, where they came and asked me, um, um, is it possible in Revit to indicate a level which will automatically indicate the difference between uh, uh, finish floor level and uh, structure floor level and uh, for those people who are working in uh, construction frames or architectural frame I mean they might encounter sometimes it's a little bit an issue to be able to access uh, these uh, two um, two options at once and uh, honestly it's very easy but um, it's not known so much at least in my case I've noticed not so much to so many people because by default, if you load in a spot elevation uh, in Revit, this one will uh, will just pick the topmost uh, surface which you have. Now, um, in this case, I'm just going to um, <laughs> just going to show you first in section. Uh, I have uh, two flows which are I've made here. Now, the first one is of course is entirely a single flow. And then I have another flow on top of it. Now here is the problem with a <coughs> with a Revit. If you come in with a spot elevation, it will of course automatically uh, track the topmost flow, uh, the topmost uh, surface which you have. Which in this case, of course, if you read from the level, it's called zero. So it's tracking actually uh, this plane here. Now. Um, you have an option to enable uh, Revit to track uh, either the the level which is the topmost on that floor or beneath it. Now, actually, a lot of people they sometimes fail to see uh, these options which are being displayed here right now, uh, and it's actually this option which you might you may come in, and then you have. Uh, you have an option to choose for instance I can say I want it to, to see only the bottom part of it also I can come in and say I, I want to see the top on the bottom elevation now the top and bottom elevation this is what we, we really want to, uh, to use to accomplish uh, something like this one in this case now uh, the trouble with this one is that the level by default is only going to track the topmost layer and the lowermost layer is it, it, it can't really automatically uh, track like okay only this is the only finish which you have I mean like for instance in the case of um, that since we already have a preset material above the core boundary then maybe you are expecting that it will automatically only pick the top point and the bottom point of only the finish layer no it can't uh, it can't do that uh, that's so unfortunately so the only possible way to actually do this correctly is to uh, draw it as if as you're going to construct as if it is um, actually being constructed on site that first you have a cast of let's say maybe a concrete and, and several um, top layers as a structural flow and then you have as a, a finish floor independently so in this case I made two different floors and then afterwards what I'm going to do actually is that um, I'm just going to pick the level at this point and then afterwards um, I'm just going to um, enable top and bottom elevation now by now it is actually tracking uh, 50 that is means the topmost part of the floor finish and zero is actually the 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 topmost part of the structural layer now after that of course you can just uh, add um, some more abbreviation to this one uh, just come to edit the property part and then way down you have a uh, top indicator and bottom indicator so just I can come in here and I can just type FFL and then for this one uh, SFL and then um, I'm going to click apply and then afterwards I'm just going to add some 
plus sign split apply and then um, maybe a little bit of a text offset okay uh, so this is actually the presentation in most at least in most of the Tanzanian films the way they they use it uh, so okay guys I hope I've uh, I've sorted um, a small trouble at this context so uh, thank you for watching my video and in case of um, you have any question or any comment just uh, go down to the comments section and just leave um, leave your comment there thank you for watching bye